ever wondered why the Earth, Moon and stars all share the same round shape? Why isn't a single celestial body square or rectangle? It's a question that has puzzled many a curious mind, and the answer lies not in the stars themselves, but in the fundamental laws of our universe. You see, the shape of celestial bodies, be it Earth, our Moon, or the distant stars, is primarily determined by gravity. This unseen force governs the cosmos, pulling everything towards its center. When a celestial body forms, gravity pulls in every direction equally, molding it into a shape where all points on its surface are an equal distance from its center, a sphere. So, despite the diverse sizes and compositions of celestial bodies, they all share a common shape, a testament to the universal power of gravity. It is gravity, that omnipresent force, that sculpts the universe into its familiar round shapes. First off, let's talk about our home planet, Earth. Uniquely beautiful and teeming with life, it's not a perfect sphere as many might believe. Instead, it's known as an oblate spheroid. That's a fancy way of saying it's slightly squashed at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator. Why is it so? Well, gravity plays a huge role here. As Earth spins on its axis, gravity pulls everything towards the center. But the centrifugal force caused by this spin pushes everything outwards, resulting in an oblate shape. Now, how do we know it's round? There's substantial evidence, like satellite images showing Earth as a round body from space. And let's not forget circumnavigation, the act of traveling around the Earth, which wouldn't be possible if the Earth were flat. So, despite what some might say, the Earth is not flat, but an oblate spheroid. Next up, our nearest neighbor in space, the Moon. Now, if you've ever wondered why the Moon appears round, you're not alone. In fact, the Moon's shape is slightly elliptical, not perfectly round. This is due to the gravitational forces acting upon it. Gravity pulls everything toward the center of mass, causing celestial bodies, like the Moon, to take on a spherical shape. This happens because a sphere is the shape that allows for the least amount of gravitational potential energy, a kind of lowest energy state. So how do we know this? Well, evidence of the Moon's roundness comes from various sources, including lunar landings and satellite images. Astronauts who've walked on the Moon have seen its curvature with their own eyes. And satellites circling the Moon have taken images showing its rounded shape from all angles. So, just like Earth, the Moon is also not a perfect sphere, but a slightly elliptical shape. Lastly, we come to the stars, those twinkling lights in the night sky. These celestial bodies, too, share in the universal trend of roundness. But why is this so? The answer, once again, lies with our old friend, gravity. Gravity pulls everything towards the center, creating a spherical shape, the most efficient form to hold a mass. Stars, like our Sun, are essentially immense balls of gas. The gravitational force at work is so strong that it pulls all this gas towards the center, forming a round shape. But don't just take my word for it. The evidence is out there, visible through the lens of a telescope. Observations of stars show them to be round, further confirming this theory. So, despite their tiny appearance from Earth, stars are actually huge round balls of gas. The spherical shape is not just an earthly phenomenon, but a universal one, dictated by the omnipresent force of gravity. But why aren't there any square planets or stars out there? A fascinating question indeed. To understand this, we need to delve into the very nature of gravity. In our universe, gravity pulls matter together. It doesn't favor a particular direction, but acts equally from all sides. This equal pull from all directions naturally forms a sphere, as it's the shape where every point on the surface is an equal distance from the center. Now, imagine a square planet. The corners would be farther from the center than the flat sides. Gravity would pull harder on the corners, gradually rounding them off. Over time, the square would become more and more spherical. This is why we don't see square celestial bodies. It's not because the universe has a preference for round shapes, but because a sphere is the most stable form under the influence of gravity. So, 
The round shape of celestial bodies is not a random choice, but a law of physics. So, what have we learned today? In our cosmic journey, we've traveled from the expansive universe to our home planet Earth, to our nearest celestial neighbor, the moon, and beyond, to the stars that twinkle in the night sky. And in this journey, we discovered a beautiful symmetry. They're all round. We started with Earth, our blue planet, which appears round because of gravity. This invisible force pulls everything towards the center, and it does so equally from all sides. This equal distribution of force shapes the Earth into a sphere, not a perfect one, but an oblate spheroid, slightly squashed at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator due to its rotation. We then visited the Moon, our faithful companion in space. Just like Earth, the Moon is also round. Even though it's much smaller and has weaker gravity, the gravitational forces are still strong enough to pull it into a spherical shape over billions of years. Next, we ventured out to the stars, those distant points of light. We learned that stars too are round. They form from clouds of gas and dust, and as these clouds collapse under their own gravity, they form a sphere, the most efficient shape that evenly distributes gravitational force. And finally, we addressed the mind-boggling question, why isn't a single thing square? We learned that squares, or any other shapes with corners and edges, are not efficient in minimizing gravitational potential energy. In simpler terms, nature is lazy. It always tries to use the least amount of energy possible. And a sphere is the shape that achieves this. So there you have it. The roundness of celestial bodies, including Earth, the Moon, and stars, is not a random occurrence. It's a consequence of gravity that ever-present force that shapes the universe. Next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember, it's gravity that's responsible for the round shapes you see.